Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing with you guys some of my favorite Notion widgets slash just embedded links um, that you can use on your Notion. I absolutely love using Notion for all my organizing needs um, for my business, personal, whatever it is. Um, I absolutely love using it. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing with you guys some of my favorites that you can use and just some cool ones that I found also. I've done a few videos on Notion in the past, so I'll have those linked in the description box below in the eye up top for you guys to go check out. And I'm also thinking about doing some more Notion videos just because it's something that that I love using and I think it's a very cool software which has a lot of potential so I if you wanted more videos like this or just more notion related videos leave, leave a comment down below to let me know what kind of videos you were looking for but okay let's get into the video and I'll be covering some of my favorite widgets Okay, so for this video, I just put all the widgets in one place so you guys can actually see what it looks like and then I'll show you guys where you can get them. So the first thing I wanna cover is this retro clock look from Widget Box. So it shows you the time and it shows you the day that it is in the week and it just has this nice look to it. I know you have like the Flicklo um, screensaver that also looks similar to this. So it's a really nice look and I think it's minimal enough that it could work in any workspace. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys where you can get this. Like I said, it's from widget box. So this is what their website looks like. They have a bunch of different types of widgets. You can obviously surf through their entire website for what works best for you, but the one we're looking at is digital retro clock. So all you need to do is click on create on the widget that you want. Then you can also select the background color. So yeah, they have a few options you can choose from. Like I said, they have, um, it's minimal enough, just a black one that you can just go with that. Or you can go with any of these colors and find one that you like. Um, so maybe something like this. You can also select how rounded the edges are for the clock. So if it's none, so then that would be just be squared. Then it will be a small round, a medium, and then a large. I prefer the medium one. I just feel like that's a good middle ground. And then you can also select the type of time that is shown, so 12 hour clock or 24 hour clock. I prefer 24 hour clock. And then you can also turn on Notion dark mode if you want. So if you have one that you want to have work in dark mode, you can also do that. And once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and click copy. So just copy that link and then go to your Notion and then you're gonna click on paste. And then it's gonna bring up this little menu, just select create embed and then it's gonna go start to load. And then this is what it's gonna look like. You can also resize it to however you want. Um, it's very nice and I absolutely love this little widget that you can add to your Notion. I just feel like it can add a lot. Then next up we have Indify's counter. So this is really nice if you want to track certain things. Um, you can easily just have this counter here. So we're gonna go to Indify, which is another website which has a bunch of Notion widgets. So I definitely recommend just browsing that um, website as well. So here is Indify, this is what it looks like so as you can see it already has a my widgets section so it tracks whatever widgets you've already copied or created um, since you already have a you can make an account on their website so you have that then I, like I said they have a bunch of widgets already that you can choose and um, yeah just go through um, but the one we're looking at is just the counter so it's this one here so we're just gonna click on create widget and then you have to title it you can give it any title so I'm just gonna say test counter and then let's say continue and then it gives you the option to just edit it to your liking. So what you can do is you can select center text or not. You can go ahead and um, add a title. So let's say um, you're tracking your water intake. So then it will add the title to your counter. Then preferred icons plus and minus or arrows. So you can just go have arrows which just goes up and down. That's also a nice look. And then center text you can adjust if it centers the text or not. I just prefer it centered. Then you have button style, if it's light mode or dark mode, you can just edit that as well. Then you can also set a background color to your counter if you want. I don't like this just because it adds a block to it when it's in Notion, but you can do that if you want, but usually I just turn that off. You can also adjust the text color in dark mode. And then you can also set if dark mode is default or not. You can also turn on show hover menu or not. So when you hover over your um, little widget, you can have this here. So you can click on customize or you can um, go and turn on dark mode. So that's also something you can turn off or on. And lastly, show customize button. Um, that's whether you want it here or not. And once you're happy with that, you set up your counter however you want. Again, you just click on the link copy there and then you're just gonna click command V or paste again and then you're gonna select create embed and then it's gonna start loading and creating your counter so this is what it looks like now. So now whenever you wanna add a water intake you can just click on this arrow to add this arrow to make it less. 
very nice, very simple and very useful. Next up, we have Indify Quote. So this will just put a quote on an image like this um, and it's all from Indify. You can just go click on this refresh button and then it will load a new quote. So if I click refresh, then it's gonna change it to something else. So back in Indify, we're just gonna go to the quotes um, widget, click on create widget and give it a title. So I'm gonna say test quote. And then the same with the counter, you have a bunch of options to modify and edit this. Um, select an Instagram account to display. So certain Instagram accounts have quotes that they give and you can select which one you wanna view. So this one is from Positive Mindset Daily, quote of the day. They have a few here that you can choose from. Then you can either turn off or on hide reset refresh button, which is this one here, the icon. Then you can also set a background color. So how this works is if you set one to maybe like, let's just choose blue for now. Now, if you resize it, it's gonna add like borders to the sides to it. So that's just something that I don't like, but if it's something you want, you can obviously turn that off or on. Then again, we have dark mode default or not show hover menu, which is again for if you want to um, be able to see dark mode or customize and all that. And then once you're happy, you click on the clipboard button and then we're gonna paste it again. And then you have your quote there. The next widget I have is the Apple Music Playlist widget. So this can, you can link any playlist to your Notion. Before we even get into this, I wanna make sure you understand that you can't play the playlist. You can only view it, which really sucks, but you can click on it and then it will take you to Apple Music and then you can play it from there. Um, so yeah, it does suck a bit, but it is a cool look, I think, um, if you just want it for more for aesthetic purposes than anything else. So how this works is you're gonna go to Apple Music on your Mac, if you have it. Um, you do get a Spotify playlist as well, I know, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna work the same for Spotify and Apple Music. So you're gonna find the playlist that you want in your Apple Music app on your Mac or on your computer. Again, this works on Spotify if you have Spotify on a website or something. Then click on the three dots and just go to the share option. And then it says copy link, but here at the bottom it says copy embed code. So you're gonna tap on that and copy that. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna click forward slash and search for embed. Tap on that and then in this area you're gonna paste that what we just copied and select embed link. And then it's gonna start loading up your playlist. And here you can see you have access to it and you can see it here, view in Apple Music or Play. Um, I wish it was more functional, but yeah, if you wanna have a playlist just there, you have it here. Next up is something that I absolutely love and I'm very happy I found it, and that is called Whiteboard. Um, so I think this will be very helpful if you use your iPad for Notion. I think this is gonna be super helpful. This is something that I wish Notion had was the ability to add some handwritten notes for when I'm using my iPad on Notion. Um, but this is something that's really cool, so I think um, it's just something you need to try out. So all you need to do is go to whiteboard.com and I'll have links to all the um, widgets that I'm mentioning in this video so you don't have to like struggle with finding it. Um, it'll all be in the description box below, but just go to this website and then all you need to do is copy the link that it created in the um, URL and then you're just gonna paste that and click on create embed and then it's gonna easily just create the whiteboard for you and it's there and you can even from your computer just like write something so this looks terrible, but hi. Um, so yeah, it works really well. You can even just like create lines and things like that if you want to. I think this is a really cool feature um, and just very unique. So if this is something that sounds interesting to you, you can add that. Next up, we have a study with me Pomodoro timer here. So this is just a cool website that you can embed within your Notion to easily have access to a Pomodoro timer. So the website is called studywithme.io. This is what it looks like. It's very nice looking. It even has like a little Spotify playlist here with lo-fi music for if you're wanting some background music. Um, so all you need to do again is just copy the link in the URL and then paste it and then just select again, click on create embed. It's gonna load up and then it will start showing you the website. So I'm just gonna make it full screen. So then you have it here, you can click on start and we'll start counting down the 25 minute Pomodoro setter. You can go to short break for five minutes and long break for 10 minutes. And then you can also just restart it here or click on the setting icon here to um, enhance it more. So you can even set how long you want your Pomodoro session to last, whether it's 25 minutes to an hour, whatever you want. Short break, you can um, adjust and long break. Play sound when timer finishes. They have a bunch of things you can go ahead and just um, choose from. They also have some themes. 
this is what it looks like it's very nice and i think it's just helpful to have one in your notion especially if you don't want to go to a separate website to access this the last thing I want to cover is the Aura Clock Notion widget. So I actually have a screensaver. It's the back of my videos a lot when um, I'm filming. So I have the screensaver. You ha have the option for a screensaver, but they also released one that's specifically made for widgets for Notion. So I'm going to go to the website and show you guys. So this is what it looks like. It's from Graffiti Shop. Um, it's where they're selling it on. It's for free though. They have a full pack which allows you to get all the different types of backgrounds. So this is what it looks like. This is the entire full pack. Um, I, I believe it's $9. It's here at the bottom. Yeah, it's $9. Um, here you can see they also have the screen server like I mentioned. I also just have the free one because um, I just like this look. Um, but yeah, they have more versions of this. So to get this, all you're going to need to do is click on add to cart and check out. Um, now, I'm not going to do that again, but um, yeah, it's going to just ask you to check out with um, this. Because it's free, it's not going to ask you any banking details or anything, so you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, you're just going to have to check out from this shop. Then from the checkout page, you'll also see the place where you can download your content that you just bought, basically. Um, then you're going to go ahead and download that. It's going to be a PDF with the link to the um, Notion widget. The PDF is going to look something like this and then you can just click on get the widget here. It's going to take you to a Notion site. Then all you need to do is copy the link that they give you here, paste it in Notion and then click on create embed like we've previously done with all of these and then you're good to go. If it's your first time doing this, it's going to ask you for your email and your first name. Don't worry about it. It's nothing spam related or anything, but it's just to sign up to the website to be able to use the clock. But after that, you're good to go and then you can use it as you want to. But yeah, that is how you get all these Notion widgets for yourself. I hope this helped you guys out and you maybe enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And again, leave comments down below if you want to see more Notion videos like this. Or if you have any requests for more Notion widgets, definitely leave those in the comments down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, definitely subscribe by clicking on the profile pic on the screen. It really helps me out a lot. And definitely click on the playlist to see all of my other Notion related videos. And click on the video to see one of my previously uploaded videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.